Today you join me on Stafford Moor Fishery. We managed to book onto Lodge Lake and luckily were able to get into Beach One. This swim offered us loads of features consisting of bridges, open water, islands and a nice margin. Once I was set up, I grabbed a rod and a light lead to have a bit of a lead around that far margin and investigate what the bottom was like. Once I found some hard areas that are about 3.5 to 4 foot deep, I put some 16mm GS10 on them. Well this is the rig for this session. Three little spinner rigs, one more cask permits throughout, with a little bee fly for throw a pop up on top, you really can't go wrong. Now get all three of these rods out, and hopefully it won't be long until we get a bite. We were literally just talking about moving earlier and um, yeah, an absolute one toner, got that one. And then the other one went as well. So I don't think we'll be making a move. I think we'll <laughs> probably stay put. What a result. What a start that was. Two fish at the same time. Couldn't ask for a better start really. This one just went eight and three quarters, just a little bit under 19. But what a lovely fish to start the trip off. Hopefully, we'll see a lot more of these throughout the weekend. But the next one does look a little bit bigger. So let's get this one back, have a look at the next one. And this is the second one of the brace. Just a smidgen over 20 pounds. Caught it on an OMC spinner rig. GS10 pop up. Fail proof. And what a fish it is. It really did go full force towards that bridge. But we managed to turn it just in time. And managed to get this one in the net. What a start to the session. What a start. Let's hope it can keep on going. Got me in. Making a meal out of it, yeah. Mm, meal all day round. <laughs> it's a nice fish by the looks of it. Nice mirror. It's a mirror. It is indeed. <laughs> oh, how's that for a thumb? Here we go. But after the flurry of fish, the rain started. And being in the shallows, this wasn't what we wanted. Going into darkness, the rain stopped and the carp slowly made their way back into the area. Well, I've started to get quite a few line bites now and obviously shows there is some fish in the area. Just got to hope they get their heads down. There's been a lot of fish topping on that margin directly in front of me, in front of all the downwall swims, but 
they have one sufficient to them. So you can do two things, either they're all holding up there because there's no angling pressure, or they might keep on patrolling that margin, which hopefully they come a bit more this way. And I'll bag up then because there's a lot of fish down there that are topping. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident where the rods are now. But yeah, the bait boat went out nicely. I just went a bit more to the right than what I was actually firstly going to do. And I did that because there was some fish fizzing about three foot off the island. So I just want to be another little line bite. This will be that little bit just off it to where they have been feeding. Because if they've been visiting there, then hopefully they keep on doing so. Then that right hand right, I've got a bit more towards the bridge. I'm confident that I can stop a fish from going that way if necessary. I'm not ridiculously close. I've gave myself a good 10 15 feet leeway, so I've got that time to get to that rod. But I think the fish are using that bridge as a sort of passageway. So I put a bit of bait underneath the bridge, the other side of the bridge, this side of the bridge, up this margin and spread it everywhere. So I'm effectively fishing a sort of like a Y-shaped baiting up strategy. And in doing so, it gives me three lines of three ways that fish can come in. Oh, that's the lodge behind it. It's obviously been working so far. I've had three fish. So, just got hope for some more. We've got plenty of time. We're here till tomorrow midday. It's currently... It's currently half past ten. So yeah, we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Just got to hope this session keeps going the same way it has been. But the sun's came out now really nicely. And this end of the lake is really shallow. We we're running the deeper over earlier. And it's no more than two metres deep anywhere. So with this heat come in, should warm the water up a little bit. I've put all three rods on the higher ledge. Ooh. Amen. Amen. What a result. 18 pound the nose. OMC spinner egg. B5 pop up. What a fish this is. Lovely dark as well. Absolutely ripped off on that corner of the island. Well timed with the little talking bit there. Just talking about this rod and it absolutely pelted off. Fish number four. Halfway through the session nearly. I reckon we might still have a few more chances. Like I was saying, now that the sun's came out, warm the water up a little bit, but the swim in front of us is all shallow. Hopefully, fish will come in here in numbers. I'll pick some more up. Happy days. spinner egg it's really doing a trick this weekend it really is this is good time they want it dad He's been, like, he's not had a fish all day. <laughs> he's just saying, I don't want to catch one now in the rain. <laughs> he's just ripped off. Oh, can't complain, there, can you? I know it's a double side, but it's pretty tight with six rods in this thing, <laughs> really. I've had to back lead because Tristan's wiped me out twice. <laughs> That's what there we go. That's 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 my that's the way I see it anyway. <laughs> that's what happens when you catch that many. <laughs> you get the odd few loopy ones. And hopefully this one will grow one net and make it number six. six. Yeah, number six. But I think I've caught the biggest, oh, yeah. which I believe might be in there at this precise moment in time. I so as well. Your one does look good. This one definitely ain't. <laughs> This one definitely isn't a mid-20. It's bigger than you think. It's got a set of soldiers on them. That's not bad. That's, oh, geez. That's not bad at all. <laughs> ain't bad at all. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Right, I'm going to 
this was going to be the biggest fish of the weekend, 23, 12 or whatever. But I think Tristan's just caught a bigger one than me. Anyway, happy with that, second fish. What a lovely fish. But you're happy. Happy, happy, happy. Everyone's happy. 30 pounds on the nose. <laughs> what a result. I wasn't really expecting that. I was expecting a few more low 20s maybe. Then, yeah, not complaining whatsoever. Little one more cast spinner rig. Little B5 pop up. What a result. Once I got my rods back out, I was very hopeful for another bite. But as the evening got on and not seeing many fish in the area whatsoever, that wasn't looking too promising. That's me all packed up at Stafford Moor, and that is the session over. Six fish for me, two fish for my dad, and yeah, what a session that was. I forgot my coat and I was packing up in the rain, but it's all right, because I've got my water resistant hat on, so happy days. But yeah, that's us done, and now we're off home. So I'll see you all next time. <laughs>